Sight. We should have got up a little earlier, took advantage of all that sunshine to get our showers in. But now the rain's finally stopped. I'm hoping these clouds are going to break up pretty quick. So we're actually going to take all of our shower stuff down to the river and get this thing going with a nice steaming five gallon bucket of hot water right from the source. I need it. It is time. Be careful, Dad. Have no hands. Alright, let's crank this puppy up. Oh, now it's not going to light. Woo! Heard that one. Yeah. Did you feel that? Yeah. It sends, the hair, it. sends the hairs off of my arm. I smell burnt hair. Yeah. That was stupid. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you girls ready for a shower? So ready. Yeah? I mean... Oh, don't show that. <laughs> Caroline's still looking pretty fresh over here. I know, here. it's kind of not fair. What's up with that? I don't know. Ready? Ready. Oh, it's perfect now. Okay. Go. So you can see how well this tent holds in the heat. Like it's a sauna in there right now. It feels so good. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Like, can I help on the carry it back? I want to. <laughs> Take it a 
shower. That's true. Hope you don't. Oh man, does that feel good or what? That was a long, amazing shower. That wasn't rush and get it done. Like, that was nice, so nice. All right, so fresh and so clean. We had gone eight days and it felt so good. That five gallon bucket was just the right amount to feel luxurious, but yet yeah, still kind of move you quickly to wash up and clean up. But after that long, of not having clean hair feels real good to have clean hair <laughs> so now that we're clean and ready to cook some dinner i think tonight we're gonna have turkey burgers and roasted sweet potatoes it's gonna be delicious let's go eat morning guys we are back on the trail well it's pavement right now we've got about three miles to go before we get back on dirt the good news is this morning that's a beautiful morning number one number two we fixed the rattle from the tailgate so putting that shim in fix this I still have plenty of space between the body and the mounts and all that kind of stuff it's working really well however I have noticed randomly the rear end is just bottoming out way too easily and i i justified it i, I said well you know we've got 33 extra gallons of fuel we've got a rooftop tent we've got extra stuff in the forerunner that would generally be in the turtle back so okay maybe it is hitting the bump stops but it just it got to the point where it was like wow this is that bump should not have done that and so before we get any further today i decided to crawl underneath and let me show you what I found. So back here on the icons, you know, they don't include a boot for this area, even though it's in the danger zone for rocks and stuff, pelting this piston. So you're forced to buy, well not forced, but like this is what they offer. This is their solution, this little stainless steel guard. But the problem is the only mounting point is right here. Well, if you hit something, it's going to pivot and that's what's happened here so now i'm bottoming out right here i mean just solid could chunk but it doesn't stop there it's also on the other side and it's done a number on the shock let me show you 
So on this side, we're not solidly bottoming out. We're just grazing it. And it has worn a pretty good little chunk out of the body of the shock here. Time to get some tools out and rearrange these guys a little bit. So lesson learned, I'm probably never going to put those on another vehicle again. The, the GX doesn't have them yet. I think I'm just going to try and find some inexpensive neoprene boots for just generic shocks and put those on both of these because it's doing a tremendous amount of damage. More damage than if it didn't have it on there to start with. So, something to think about. Now there's some other brands out there that's got some new designs that hold it a bit more stable and I may look into those first, but right now I'm just frustrated. I'd rather just put a boot on there and be done with it. So if you've watched my tool video, you know what we're carrying in this kit. And one of those things that I've always recommended is some massive channel locks for stuff like this. close. Look at that guy. He's not too happy with me. Whoa! <laughs> Where'd he go? lunch ladies sandwich. Mm, sandwich on a on a hawaiian bun heck yeah you've been eating all morning haven't you <laughs> is it snack time for you <laughs> yeah how's our pantry holding out pretty good yeah yeah what a spot so pretty <laughs> that was so graceful <laughs> Get the corn nuts out of the way. Guys, did you just snuck down the bottom? A little bit. Did you eat all the pepper turkey? I gave the last to you. Did you eat it all? I am so mad at you. Why? I love that turkey. Jerky. Jerky. Not turkey. Jerky! <laughs> we'll get more. That was delicious though. You pinky swear? This time, can we get like um, five bags of it?
like horses, do you?
Let's go. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh yeah. He's like 35 pounds. Yeah. I'll pick up the table and it'll go over it. Yeah. What's time? Uh, nine minutes and 44 seconds. Whoa. Pretty quick. Yeah. For everything. It'd be a lot faster if we were working together, but. Oh! Turbin! So, what delectable goodness are we having for dinner tonight? Macaroni and cheese and tuna salad. Kind of the classic. There's nothing wrong with that. No, I like it a lot. That's Makes me think of my grandma. Pick up those hooves. She's a horse in case y'all couldn't tell. Oh, nice jump. Look at that form. Coming again. Oh, here it comes. Oh, nailed it. Resto Overland is sponsored by viewers like you. If you like following our adventure, then please support us on patreon.com slash lifestyleoverland. <laughs>